Welcome to Chase Talks, my name's Chase. Since Saturday aired the last episode of our Triple Dragon team, for now I might do a special where I bring it back at some point, but for right now, um, we are going to be switching teams, that episode will probably la air later tonight with the new team on it, but over my course of um, making my videos, I did have a few blooper moments, um, moments where people would like forfeit right away or where I just got too salty, where I didn't feel like I wanted to upload it, so... I have um, a quick collection of those bloopers that I thought uh, you guys might enjoy. I know that me going back and watching them, I've enjoyed rewatching a few of them. So, and also real quick before I start the um, blooper reel, uh, do not forget to um, comment down below with any Pokemon that you would like to see in an upcoming uh, team. Is I'll build it in a core. Um, I'll take any suggestion of any Pokemon, it doesn't matter whether it's um, Wimpod or whether it is a, well it has to be VGC Legal, I almost said um, Xerneas, but I clearly can't build with Xerneas, but it can be anything um, in between, uh, anything and everything in between, as long as it's VGC viable I will definitely build a team where it is a member of its core. Um, so yeah, so with no further ado I'm going to cut and go straight into the bloopers, hope you guys enjoy. Alright. So hopping into our second match, this match we're facing against another definitely not Mega Salamence, a uh, Sand Core, an Aegis Slash, a Tapu Bu, and a Rotom Wash. We're facing against. It's so meta that it's only missing a Landorus T. Um, I this game I'm gonna. I feel like I gotta go for Trick Room again, just because this team is gonna be so fast. I could just try and like outspeed and overpower with Adele, and I'm gonna do that. I'm going to go for Adele, and I'm going to go third dragon. I'm going to lead them to outspeed and overpower. And then in the back, I'm going to have Kamiguru and my other dragon. I'm going to go three dragons this game, um, just in case he brings the sand. And my main thought process behind this is just his team's so fast, I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring Luscious. I'm going to bring Adele, third dragon, um... He forfeited? Okay. So that's not going to be in the video. So we're going to cut past this one too. The one that I won for no reason. I think I might need a crit with superpower. I don't think I can kill this plus one superpower. I had to click on a non-existent Pokemon there. I almost timed out because this dude turned on the timer and I had to click on a Pokemon that wasn't alive to switch in. Um, I'm going to go for a superpower. I don't think superpower is going to kill it plus one. Boo is strong, but I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. If I had a Phytanium Z, that would be perfect, but I got the Assault Vest. But I love the Assault Vest. Boo has been so much tankier. It's been such a more reliable member on my team. Do I take it out? And I don't. And let me guess, it's going to recycle the Iapop Berry. Ooh, it already had an recycled Iapop Berry. Um, damn. I'm going to get just set up on this thing to oblivion. I think the best thing I'm going to do here is just rock slide and just hope to flinch him to death. And I'm just going to get stalled out this game. And of course I missed the rock slide. He's really just going to... Yeah, because he has nothing to kill me with. So he's just going to stall me out. Why is he going for curse on Snorlax? Just attack me. I don't know why this guy is just stalling me out. Is he just trying to make me forfeit? <laughs> like the game's over. Just just kill me. And there we go. We're going to hop into the next match. Welcome to another great episode of Let's Learn VGC 2018. I'm your host, Chase, a.k.a. Chase Talks, and I'm bringing you three more matches of this Triple Dragon team. 
Now, nothing has changed between yesterday's episode and today's. We're hopping right into the first battle. Now, you can see my opponent's got probably a Mega Obama Snow with a Trick Room Cresselia, a little bit of Aegislash, Landorus T, Tapu Fanny, and Alolan Marowak. Now, my opponent is bringing Trick Room. There is no doubt about that. But the real question is, what will I do to counter it? I feel like leading El Tigre is the play. For sure. Um, next, I am... I don't think Kamiguru is that good this match. I think that I should just lead... My... Could I just, should I just go ham? Ooh, 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 ooh. I got an idea. I'm going to go... I'm going to go ham. I'm going to go um, Hydreigon. And I'm going to go, oh, he quit. I guess he didn't want to wait that long. He didn't want to wait for me to do my intro. Well, this battle's getting cut out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, all right. I got to find another match and redo my intro. Welcome to another episode of Let's Learn VGC. My name's Chase, aka Chase Talks, and jumping right into our first game, we're facing off with the Tyranitar, giving us a Sand Core with a Landorus T and an Excadrill, a Cresselia to do probably ally switching shenanigans, Zapdos, and Milotic. So we got a lot of meta things on this team. We got the Zapdos Landorus, which I feel like is going to be a pretty common core. Um, I kind of feel like in this game, one of my best bets might to just be go and straight for Trick Room because then I'll um, outspeed after the Sands up. And then I think I'm going to put, I don't think Luscious has a really good matchup this game, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Shakabulu. And I'll go into Hydreigon for the Cresselia. Because um, Cresselia is just going to give me that Dark type stab to go in there. And this is probably one of the worst leads that I could have actually got from my opponent. Um, what I'm just going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go for the Trick Room, and I'm actually going to fake out the um, Tyranitar so it can't go for a Dark-type attack or a Rock-type attack. Because I'm kind of afraid they're going to just double into my Incineroar. So, and it's a Mega, so I'm glad that I faked it out there. Um, we're probably going to see a Scald. Ooh, it actually Scalds itself. And it burns itself? What was that play? Oh, he forfeited. It was probably a misclick. Alright, so that brings us 1-1 one, one in the episode. Now I'm going to cut this, uh, this one out. If I do a blue for real, this will definitely be in there. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> so I got to find us a new first match. And those were our Triple Dragon bloopers. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase, signing off.